pockets here? Yeah, yeah do you have any money? <laughs> no, you don't pay us. This is fun. We've managed to enter the kind of the games region. They're getting the hang of it. I don't know how you get them to stay on the board. You, buddy. Oh, that's a rhyme. I like it. Yeah, Mick! Like, you had to know this was coming. How are you today? I understand. Are you named after the famous car brand or the actor Harrison Ford? Did you know that Harrison Ford is going to play your daddy in the Soul movie? Well, Ford, thank you so much for your time. I'll let you get back to snoozing. Have a good one. Just lost score in the score music? Yeah, dude, he's a dad, so he's got to choose corny pop songs now. He's just trying to be cool. Cool song, Jeff! I know, I've been waiting so long for that. He looked at you, but you weren't looking at me. First goal of the year. But when you do, you treasure that moment. You guys look bored. Pick that up. Hey, what's up? I'm Flatball. We're doing a new section, or we're trying it out, called Hats at the Half. Could you tell us about your lid? Oh, that's actually a funny story. Uh, this came out of the camp Lost and Found. The camp you're referring to was the? Tusk, the Texas Ultimate Summer Camp which was uh, the brainchild of Libby Cravens and myself, Colleen Kepner, and none other than Patrick Christmas, owner of The Soul. I'm so proud of you guys, and I'm proud of your fine hat selection. Uh, we're here with Mike Peterson. He plays on uh, the Sick Hammers. It's a Grandmasters team recently qualified for nationals. Tell us about your hat. My hat is an Austin Soul hat, of course. It's one of those badass, like, fitted ones, right? Yeah. A little salt rim there. That's good. That, my god. That's disgusting. Tell us about your hat. Uh, this is the hat for our college team, Auburn Itos, our logo. You got Auburn? Yeah. What? Yeah. Where's Hank? Hank is in Louisville doing an internship right now. Oh, that's so, cool. Well, I really dig your hat, and you're super hip and mildly attractive. And I'm, I'm losing myself in your eyes. I must go. Tell us about your colorful and lovely hat. Oh man, um, you know I got this hat for the attention. People are always like, oh that's a fresh hat. You know, I just want to look interesting. So, it looks like it's working right now. Hello, you're on Halftime Cap Time. We're going to talk about your lovely pineapple hat. Could you spin it around so the people can see it? That's nice. What's the significance of the pineapple? Uh, it's one of the tallest fruits that there is. Which is That's incredible. Are you a tall person? Yeah. yeah. Six feet. What? <laughs> Can you stand up for me? Holy <laughs> he's 6'8". My God. You've probably won with the safari dome piece that you got going on. Uh, I got onto the idea growing up in the Congo in Africa. And overseas, this, you know, these hats were, were worn a lot, not here, not so much here in the States. And then I rediscovered it when I was nearing 70, I was paddling the Texas water safari. And uh, you know, you're in the sun for four straight days and keeping your head cool as well as, you know, is, is the whole story for me. And so I found a way to buy them. I had to order them, I think. You were a, we need to just do another segment with you individually because you grew up in the Congo and you paddle down rivers for hundreds of hours so you sound very interesting thank you hey Shrew 
Nice D and I really like your shirt. Shirt? Shirt. We're trying, we're working on Sheru's shirt. But seriously, that shirt is amazing. How much? I'm gonna have to ask Patrick. It's his. If you can fit a small, I will ask him if I can keep it. I'll slim down. I'll slim down for that shirt. 20 seconds left. 26, 25. Soul got the lead. Yes! Walsh gets a piece. Soul! Soul in at home. Fartland of buttholes got defeated finally. They came in our house and lost this time. They won last time, but they lost today. Shutting it down. Eat Atlanta. Eat Atlanta. I'm making up cheer. I'm just so happy. Now we're going to take another official timeout. There wouldn't be a game against Atlanta if we didn't have some twists and turns. I believe the game is over. Oh wait, we have a late breaking piece coming from Cunningham. Cunningham. Uh, this just in, we've realized that we are 2-0 and when Mr. Orloff gets ejected. Mm. You must have tried to get ejected from this game. Maybe some, maybe some way that will help. He brings the fire. Brings the fire every time. He brings some four letter words every now and again too, but that's fine. That's part of the fire. Let's game plan this then. Feasibly, how early can we get him kicked out of a game next time? Well, you want him in for a little bit. That way he stirs up the crowd. Yeah. You know, the other team, us. So, I don't know, midway through the third? I think that's probably a good game plan. How old are you? Uh, 18. And how old are you? Turned 19 yesterday. And Nice D, how old are you? 36. Okay, so to get, together you're one year older than him. How did it feel out there today, stench bros? Uh, it was great, a little wet, but uh, it made it a little interesting. Kyle Hanky, stinky hinky. It was your first game ever as a pro. How many times did you score? Scored one time. What is your scoring song? Whiplash. It's part of the, uh, the original movie soundtrack, Whiplash. A bold and interesting choice. What's your scoring song, Elliot? Uh, it's Can't Hold Us by Macklemore. Yeah, that song sucks. We're going to need to change that immediately. I look forward to watching you guys throw your bodies around like a bunch of youngsters. It was really fun today. Sold out! <laughs>